In today's video, I'll be using pre-mixed pouring paints from the Artessa 32 Ready to Pour Paints. I'm new to pouring, so if you're looking for an experienced pourer, this is not the video for you. The way to learn is by practicing, and that's what I'll be doing today. But before I get into it, I would like to give a special thank you to Katherine Bates for sending me this thoughtful gift pack. Everything in it is lovely, and I couldn't wait to use it. I'm truly humbled and grateful. Thank you, sis. Okay, on to the mess making. Welcome back to DIY No Need to Cry with Ivelisse. Let's get started. Hi, my crafty fam. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. As I mentioned, I'll be using pre-mixed pouring paints. I'll be pouring onto a 1.5 liter wine bottle and placing an 8x8 canvas under to catch the excess paint. The idea is to create two matching pieces and not waste any paint. Before pouring, I prep the canvas. I place four push pins on each corner. Doing this will help with the handling, tilting, and allow the excess paint to drip off while it's drying. For my first pour, I'm going to use neon colors. These colors look amazing under black light. All the colors used for each pour will be in the description box below. I prepared my pouring cup by adding a little of each color until I thought I had enough paint. I placed my canvas inside a plastic container big enough to catch all the paint that drips off the bottle. And I took one last step before pouring. I added a layer of white paint to the canvas because in one of the many videos I watched, I believe they said it helps with the tilting process. If you know about paint pouring, feel free to share what you know down below. And now for the fun part. The first time I attempted this technique on bottles, I wasted a lot of paint. I was so afraid to make the same mistake that I didn't use enough this time. But that's how we learn, and I was able to make it work. I love this technique. It is so much fun because you get to make two pieces at once. Once I was done with the bottle, it was time to tilt the canvas. It's so satisfying. You guys have got to try it. It's not bad, but I have to work on my color combos. I know how big of a part it plays with my pieces, and the more I try this technique, the more I realize the same thing. As I mentioned before, these are neon colors, and once it's dry, I'll show you how beautiful they look under a black light. For the next pour, I tried black, white, silver, and red for a pop of color. I was hoping this color combo would give me a piece where each color would be more defined.
I had only planned on doing two sets, but once I started playing with that paint, I did not want to stop. <laughs> I decided to try a few more without the bottles. For this next one, I really wanted to create one with lacing. So I tried following a tutorial with the materials I had. And let's just say, I get it now. I fully understand how some of you feel when you try and follow one of my videos. I caught myself saying the exact same thing I hear about mine. They make it look so easy! <laughs> All I had to create the cells for the lacing was silicone. I added a drop or two to each color, but I think that wasn't enough. Another thing I didn't have was a blowtorch. All I had was a lighter, and that was going to have to do. And speaking of, don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoy my videos. Your support helps the channel grow and goes towards new crafting supplies, which allows me to bring you better content. I thought I did everything correctly, but as you can see, the cells never formed. At this point, I decided to play with it some more to see if I could salvage it. I let it sit like this for a minute to see if the cells would expand. Sadly, they didn't, so I tilted the canvas and was able to save the piece. That color combo worked beautifully together. I really wanted to create one with lacing, so I tried it one last time. This time I added more silicone to the paint, but as you can see, it still didn't work. It's a shame because I can see the colors underneath and it would have looked beautiful. I went ahead and tilted this one as well. Once I shut the camera off, I played with it some more and I'll show you the results at the end. I decided to stop there because although I was having a blast with this technique, I didn't want to waste paint trying to figure it out. What I need to do now is watch more videos and figure out what I'm doing wrong. And that's exactly what I'll be doing. I sealed everything with a layer of Mod Podge gloss. And here are the results in order. Out of all the canvases, I love the design on this one the most. I don't know if you can see it, but I see someone surfing on a wave. The metallic didn't show up on this one like it did on the bottle, and I wish the white and red would have popped more. It's also too busy for my liking. The 
The color pattern on this one turned out gorgeous. Too bad the lacing didn't work. However, the pattern it created after tilting is beautiful in itself. And this is the pattern that came out of my last pour. It's another color combo that worked beautifully together. I failed at the lacing with this one as well, and I wish more of the lighter colors dominated the painting. But it still turned out amazing. It reminds me of time and space, like a meteor shower. It's a very energetic painting. Last but not least is the neon pieces under the black light. Look at those colors. How cool is that? I will definitely be trying another pouring technique with these paints, one that will enhance this effect. That's it for this week's video. I hope this inspired you to get out of your comfort zones and try a technique you're too afraid to try. I didn't get any of the results I wanted, but it didn't discourage me. I made the best out of each mistake and was able to come up with some pretty cool designs. It was also tons of fun. I highly recommend that you try this technique. It's super relaxing and therapeutic. And as always, remember to have fun, be creative, and make a mess. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to thumbs it up as it helps the growth of the channel and to show your support. If you're new to my channel, I hope you consider subscribing to get updates on future videos. And remember, do it yourself. There's no need to cry.